What is going on guys, it's Toby here, and today we're headed back to Fabrizio's house to do more mods on Sally. So today we're gonna be doing some engine mounts. I think we're also going to be putting on a street aero diffuser on his car. You also have to install a new idler pulley because as you guys recall, my old one went bad and then I put a replacement one on from Napa and it wasn't quite the right size. So we're gonna have to take off my idler pulley, put a new one on from Whipple and put a new belt on. And when I refer to a new belt, I'm talking about the serpentine belt. So Max is outside right now with his Camaro. We have to meet up with him and then we're gonna drive over to Fabrizio's house. It's like a 20 minute drive, so it's not that bad. There's Mr. Max parked right next to Sally. So I had him do a cold start earlier so we can leave because we're kind of running late and off schedule here. Motor mounts are actually from BMR. They're sitting in my car, but essentially they're supposed to stiffen it up because the factory ones have way too much flex. So they weren't built for all that weight that you add when you put the Whipple on. I think this guy's having too much fun in my car. Max, what are you up to? I did the manual check. Uh, yeah. Check if it's a neutral. Is everything good? Yeah, it's everything is good. We're good to go? Yeah. All right, let's go. Bro, Max's car is running right All now. All right, Toby. Oh, we get it. Your no, car is loud. I didn't even think it was on. Honestly, what the heck? Yeah. In all seriousness, I did not hear his car at all, so I didn't think it was on, but the BMR motor mount should be behind this impact gun box. I need to move it so I can show you. This right here are the BMR motor mounts, so if we look in the box, I already opened it up because I confused it for the vertical links, but this is what they look like. And the red bushing is a lot more stiff than what you get from factory, so you get a lot less flex and the engine doesn't move around as much. I do have the entirety of AutoZone in the back, so half shafts, impact gun, idler pulley, motor mounts right here another pulley in the back and a fuel hat essentially i thought i was going to the drag strip this friday but we canceled because nobody could make it out also did get a brand spanking new dash cam so biofo sent this to me 100 free under a sponsorship i still haven't had a chance to check it out though because i need a micro sd and the hard wire kit so i can plug it into here and won't have the nasty wires dangling down to the cigarette port mr max let's go ready wait you have to show us the peanut butter interior bro oh yeah you guys see it? You guys, you guys see it? It's peanut butter. I know I've teased this in a video before, but I have an Anderson Composites GT500 hood coming in the mail, as well as carbon fiber GT350R fenders. So Sally's gonna look absolutely insane. I also have a GT500 bumper winglet like add-on kit from ZL1 add-ons. So her bumper is gonna look a lot different and it's gonna be somewhat reminiscent of a GT500. She's getting a makeover, boys. I mean, cosmetic wise, I'm pretty sure I'm done with Sally after that. I just wanna do a wrap possibly to protect the paint or a PPF on the front bumper because I've been getting rock chips like crazy. And then from there, the focus is gonna be to get on E85 with a built trans. Like I need a Calimer stage three so this girl can rip at 900 wheel horsepower. It's gonna be sick. We need some gas though and as you guys can see i did change up the led colors so there's a menu on here where you can change the sequencing of the colors and it's really sick so right now i have like an autumn color going on i don't know i thought it looked cool we came across on the way that's absolutely sick oh my god the classic trucks that's dope okay i need to put the camera down and actually drive because i'm gonna make a mistake but look at that we got this one beside me too <laughs> he saw me recording <laughs> I really think I lost Max for real, for real. Like, I don't see him in any rear view mirror. I made a straight, no, I made a left turn and he went completely the opposite way. So we're gonna see what's up with that. We'll try and find Mr. Max. I think he may be calling me right now. Yeah, he is. I was looking for a shell and I guess they just converted this place to Circle K and I can't really make it to another gas station because I don't have enough range. So I have no better choice, but here comes Max. We're gonna fuel up and head to Fabrizio's. Mr. Max is probably one of the cleanest Camaros out there. Look at this thing. It's popping right now. Stock with a muffler delete, I'm pretty sure. I'm kind of having a weird problem right now where when I pull the car into neutral above 50 miles an hour The car kind of just stalls out. I'm not entirely sure why that is I suppose it has something to do with the tuning because there's no other explanation for it Almost at Fabrizio's house. We just got off the toll road, but Mr. Max is going crazy and it's kind of wet out So he needs to have some self-control Because definitely can lose traction pretty easily out here right now but once again, his car looks super clean cruising on the road. That's why I want a Camaro, honestly, because of him. But where Fabrizio lives is actually like the higher end part of Orlando. So you have these back roads and it's like really suburban. And in there, you 
have the nicer houses and the gated communities and stuff like that. We're almost there. It should be a pretty easy install. I've already installed an idler pulley in the past and I put a new belt on. It's not gonna take me long. The thing that's gonna take long is the motor mounts because I've never done that before. Mr. Max is at Fabrizio's, but I'm gonna go ahead and get something to eat. So we need to hop inside right there at Pokihana. It's really good food. I'll show you what it looks like in a second. And we're probably gonna have crappy weather for the rest of the weekend. So I don't know the next time I'm gonna be able to do a pool, but I'm looking forward to it because I wanted to launch the car on the bead locks because I do have backup half shafts in the trunk. Just a new belt that I need to put on that I was talking about earlier and then I have GT350 half shafts So one right here and one right there Those are my backups for the drag strip just in case I break one and there's the idler pulley that needs to get installed today That's what I get here. It's chicken and then tuna super good and fresh lunch was pretty good I will say but now it's time to get Sally on a new idler pulley a new belt and what else what am i forgetting new either pulley new belt and oh my god i'm having a brain fart oh that's right engine mounts so yes sally is about to go full race car as you guys know adjusted vertical links which is in the previous vlog so make sure to check that out in the top right hand corner of the screen these kids that were on scooters coming by just completely freaked out because they recognized me in the car that was like oh my god it was sally it was hilarious it was like really cool too i wish i could have gave them a ride but i don't know if i should do that without their parents consenting because they were definitely on the younger side what are you guys doing right now the splitter no we're taking off his underglow oh we, we put the underglow on and it worked for a total of one week and it broke and it just completely shut off and then he texted the company i'm not gonna state the company and he said oh i have this issue and they're like oh for 10 percent off you can get a new strip what the heck yeah we're not gonna say uh any company hold up lady <laughs> But yeah, so we're taking off the underglow so we can put on the uh, front splitter when he gets it. <laughs> this is Fabrizio's Max Effort NA Coyote. So this thing puts down 500 to the wheels with comp cams. <laughs> right, Max? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're seeing a 60 to 130 time of about eight seconds on that car. Just oh, as no, fast no, no. as- Seven. <laughs> Seven? Seven. Wait, no, it's ten six, speed. right? Yeah, it's a 10 speed. I forgot. Yeah. You guys didn't know this happens to be the fastest NA Camaro in all of Orlando right here. So it is cammed. It's hex got headers, right? Yeah. E85. What else? Oh, you got a drag pack in the trunk, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Anyways, all jokes aside, because I wasn't serious with that, we do need to replace that idler pulley right there. So the top one is the Whipple one, and then the one on the bottom is the Napa Valley, I don't even know, the Napa Performance Part BS one. So the Napa pack. And and I need to get rid of it. I actually just dropped the nine millimeter hex key socket down there. So um, yeah, we're gonna try and get that out with the magnetic pole. This is what happens when you graduate with a 2.0 GPA from high school. You drop stuff in your engine. <laughs> I got it though, thanks you for got it. on his you magnetic got pole. Let's just see that magnetic pole. Wow. <laughs> Here's everything you need to change out the belt and put on the new idler pulley. So you do need a nine millimeter hex key. So this fits right onto the ratchet. You need a basic ratchet with a 10 millimeter to remove the coolant reservoir. And then you need the breaker bar to release tension on the belt. The thing I need to do is remove my coolant reservoir. So I'm just using the 10 millimeter and just loosening it real quick. All right, so I already got one bolt off. This one should just be able to come off by hand and we should be set to move it out of the way. There we go. You can just take it like this and throw it off to the side. It doesn't really matter as long as it's out of your way. You need to take the half inch drive breaker bar and put it into the slot of the belt tensioner for the Whipple. So it should just lock in right there. You don't put anything on it. That's where you put it in right there, the slot. You get the breaker bar inside the slot. You just push like that and it releases tension on the belt. Once you release tension, you can kind of just pull the belt off the top pulley and it's super simple. The rest of it comes off. So I was just going to remove the bottom idler pulley that I replaced before, but it seems to be holding up better than the Whipple one. As you can see, this one's wiggling a ton and any play or audible noise means that the pulley is starting to go bad, the bearing in there. So I need to get rid of this one actually and replace it with the Whipple one and keep this one on because it actually held up. I think it may be a little bit difficult to see because the camera isn't focusing properly on the right thing, but I almost have this top pulley out. You just use that nine millimeter. This is the bad Whipple pulley. Mind you, I've only had this kit for a couple months and I've had two idler pulleys go bad in two months. So that's crazy. It's an unboxing of the Whipple ones. So these aren't engineered too well or it's way too hot in Florida because they break way too often. I just need to reassemble it before I put it back on and it should go like that. This bolt goes in. That's set. Just finished up tightening the new pulley, so it should be good. You're supposed to torque it to spec, but I don't think I'm gonna bother doing that. And the belt diagram on the left is the actual path that I'm following. So what I'm gonna do is stick my hand in there and make it follow that exact path. Fun. 
<laughs> How's it going, Mr. Slavic Engineer? Is it? Hold on, re retry. <laughs> Is it? Fuck. That's French. Hold on. One <laughs> Number three. Z <laughs> Hold on. I gotta get my Slavic accent on. Say kind. <laughs> The underglow is off of the whole car. Let's have the entire belt rerouted. So you take it under the whip one like that. You go over the water pump one, I'm pretty sure. Then you go down to accessory power over there. So I just need to stick my hand in there and get that done. Now you can release tension, Max. Thank you very much for helping me out. So the belt is now all properly put on. I had trouble putting it over the alternator because it's like really far off to the side, but everything's set to go. Upon putting the belt back on, I noticed that it was on way too tight. I'm not sure if the camera will focus, but you can see that it's at 110 and it's really supposed to be at 100 on the tension. So there's a slider pulley on the bottom right there, which is another either pulley that can be adjusted. So we need to loosen it and slide it down. It's just fully adjustable. So if I use common sense and I loosen that one, Fabrizio, is that going to like tension it? Because it looks like it's getting tighter when I do that. Or should it be like more push? Because it goes around the alternator right there. And if I keep loosening it, it's sliding down. That one is going down because it moves. So like common sense, if it moves down, down am I should... putting more tension on it? Or no, am I releasing tension? Releasing tension if we move it down. Yeah. That's what I think. But why is it getting tighter? Great. So I dropped something else in there from the either pulley when I pulled it out. Now the Slavic engineer is going in there with his fishing pole. Where's your magnetic rod? This magnetic rod was taken by him. Right yeah. Here. So we have to lift the front of the car off. Max, shut up. And hopefully we'll be able to get it out. So that pulley right there is actually the adjustable pulley that I was referring to. And if you adjust it and slide it down because it's on a slider mechanism, you can release some tension on your belt tensioner. I'm going to try to show it one more time because the camera is having a hard time focusing on what I'm showing but if we move this out of the way it's the pulley on the bottom so there's one on top and then that one on the bottom slides up and down speedway all right all right all right <laughs> all right hold up good second this is what you get when you second this is light work oh wow. <laughs> all right max <laughs> oh my god i was 100 confident that something Hit the belly pen okay there is something in there yeah there is something All in right, there unscrew these bolts then good job max here's your fishing pole <laughs> <laughs> all right so now we're removing the splitter slowly but surely and yep this looks stripped it does not want to come out great yep this is fantastic so I have no clue what I heard in the belly pan, but I just took it. Hold on, Toby. All Sorry off. to tell you, but there's this. And looked in there, and there was nothing in there. So I have no clue what I heard dinging. I mean, Fabrizio heard it too, but I guess there was nothing in there. So Mr. Max here got very hangry, and we decided we are no longer going to do engine mounts today. So we're just going to finish up with the pulley and putting on the new belt, and then we'll be set to go. Max, I think you're good. Real slow. So yep, I did end up dropping the nut to this adjustable idler pulley and we can't find it. It's somewhere deep in there, so we're gonna have to buy another one and fix it up. As we are, bro. <laughs> oh my god. We gotta get some more space. Sophia's car boat. <laughs> oh my god, it's so messed up. Hopefully we can find this though. Topic engineer, show us that it fits. It fits very good. First try. <coughs> Just in case we don't have enough clearance back, on the back. back, we should get like a thinner one, I think. That's the thing, I can't find a thinner one though. Why are they so dirty car, bro? <laughs> Ridiculous. We got the whole collection here. But we're gonna get out of here pretty soon. I just need to get a bang. Hopefully this works. No traction on, let's see. This thing is gonna fit, I think. So. Yeah, one more pull before we go back home and try to fix that idler pulley. Come on. Straight up hooked, Max. Left? Yeah. You 
At this point, I'm getting extremely fed up. So if you see right here on the diagram, that's what I lost, that tiny little piece. And we've been going at it for a while now. So we took off the belly pan, that didn't work. Now we're gonna take off the splitter and see if it's in there. But so far, we have not had any luck. So after like two and a half hours of looking for this thing, I found the son of a Look at that. Let's go, boys, let's go, yes. I thought I was gonna be screwed. If you don't have this piece, you literally cannot put that adjustable pulley back on. So it took me over three hours now to find this thing. I took off the belly pan and I stuck my hand in there and I was just like going crazy because I was like, I'm not giving up. And I finally found it. This thing was ridiculous, so stupid. Yeah, I think so. We're gonna bring it back up just a tad bit, but it looks like we almost have the job done. Thankfully, Jesus. So we just need to slide it just the slightest bit up. I'm freezing cold out here and it's raining. All right, so it looks like we're just about done tightening up. And now we can put the belt back on. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> So I've officially rerouted the belt and everything, and now the tension is about 96. So that's perfect. We want it at 100 or just barely below it. You don't want it over because it's way too much and you'll basically kill off all your bearings. So this was a pain in the ass. I highly don't recommend doing this, especially when it's dark out, but now we're set. Mr. Lovely Max decided to lose the bolt. So I put it on the table and I guess he knocked it over with his boot. So I stole one from Fabrizio. So we're both running one bolt on our coolant tanks. So you can see his is missing one too. This is the moment of truth for the new belt install. So unfortunately, we weren't able to get the new engine mounts in because of what happened with losing that washer on the back of the adjustable idler pulley, but now we're backing this in with the Jeep right now. This is Fabrizio's Razor right there, and he's towing it with his Jeep Wrangler. It's pretty sick, actually. I think it's the Unlimited Sport. I don't know. They've done a couple of things to it, him and his dad, and it looks absolutely sick. This duo right here. So we got the white 5.0s soon to be boosted. Fabrizio's working on that, and then we got Sally. It's a major pain in the butt, but at least everything is in working order. So I'm gonna have to put in those engine mounts on a separate vlog, and we'll do a test drive and show the difference. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.